This is Eldra Unit, and what I want to do is to find some C code. So here I've got a, a file called cache register.c, and I want to do some unit testing on this. So there we can see we have the, the file, and what I want to do is to first of all test, let's say, just this function here, add product. Add product we can see takes an argument and it calls a number of functions. So let's start by creating a sequence. So let's call it unit test add product. And I'm going to select code coverage. And I want to automatically generate any stubs, any globals that might be missing. I want those to be generated. And I want to create a test for just that single function. All the others, I want to stub them. So let's select that function. OK and now we'll continue. Okay, so what's going to happen is it should automatically stub any functions that are needed. There we can see it stub this one. And so now I can go to this function. Let's right click create a test case. This is now doing a bit more instrumentation and now we can see that I just want to create a, a single test case. Let's continue on that. And there if we look to the IO view we can see it requires an input. Let's put in a value of 0. Scan products, let's put in 42. And I'll expect at the end to get 42. So now let's run this. And it's generated the harness. It's built it. It's executed it. And we can see the expected and actual are the same. So I'm happy I'm going to accept that. And there we can see that I can now see the coverage we've obtained from that. Let's run it a second time. And the second time, it should now simply regress the test. And there we can see it's passed. And the coverage, let's take a look and see exactly what happened. We can look at the flow graph. Here we've got the flow graph. We can see very clearly we've executed it twice now, taking exactly the same path. So here we've got a block of statements we've not yet executed. And here another block that we've not executed. Now, to save time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the tool to generate the test cases for me automatically. So here, it's looked at the source code, it's looked at all the various decision points, and it's generated automatically four test cases. And we can look at these test cases, and we can see the various values that it's tried. Here we can see, rather than passing null, it's actually created an instance of this structure, and it's passed that. And as a result, we now have 100% statement coverage, 100% branch coverage. So very rapidly, that's a, a quick overview there of LDRA unit. OK, well, if you want further information, then please visit our website where you'll be able to get more information and see further videos on this.